What is up guys, in today's video I have another live commentary going through why I do the things I do in game and just explaining all my decisions throughout the course of a zero build solo game. If you guys do find this video helpful or informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below if you'd like to see more of these. You guys seem to like the last one, so thought I'd make another, and we'll just get right into the gameplay. Let's go Greasy here. Greasy, I do not know how I feel about it in Chapter 3. It's very scuffed. And it's just like a pretty big downgrade over original Greasy, but Greasy Grove is one of my favorite locations like ever in Fortnite. So we can go there this game. Definitely like got better at playing it in chapter three or not chapter three, sorry, but this season, like since the mushroom stuff took over. But um, I, I really hope it goes back to being what it was previously after this is gone. Like that, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> Especially because I've always landed at the shop at Greasy, even all the way back to like before there were seasons in Fortnite. I landed at the center shop in Greasy and it just got hard destroyed by this thing. Got way less loot and there used to be so many coolers in the shop that would give you like so many splashes off spawn, but that is not the case anymore. Sudge. What is nice though is there's uh, these, these bouncy mushrooms that give you full heals. Or give you heals, sorry, not full heals. But you, you can get the full shield guaranteed off spawn just by getting those. I think that guy just pickaxed somebody. What the hell? What am I playing? They do recharge over time, but I'm just going to go ahead and eat these. And then we're probably going to push the person greenhouse. I don't know if anyone landed taco time building or in the buildings behind me. So if we can get rid of this person, then we can just go ahead and get out of here. No aim assist shooting through windows. If you guys are a controller player and you didn't know that, that is the case. For some reason, we don't have aim assist when shooting through windows. And that was a bug that was in Fortnite for a very long time. And then they ended up fixing it in like chapter one, season seven. And then they added these new controller settings, maybe like chap in chapter two or like late chapter one. And then for whatever reason, when they made the new controller settings, they didn't they, they, they brought that old bug back and they just haven't fixed it fixed it at all and it's been like two or three years since then it's been a long time but yeah i, I don't think they'll ever fix it and make it to where aim assist just works again through windows for whatever reason really bizarre but i don't know when years have gone by i feel like the likelihood of them fixing a bug is like quite low you know what i mean I'm actually kind of tilted off that one, man. I, I've been like... The auto shotgun has been such a menace to deal with recently for me. Like, I, I feel like the only time I really lose in zero build is just dying to weirdos. Like, barrel stuffing me with the auto shotty. And then that guy, we fight him and we hit for like 20 over and over again. What did he have as far as shotguns go? A pump, I will take that and take that. Like this and then we'll probably be out i don't have like as much mobility or as much splashes as i would like but hopefully we can just find that over the course of the game oh the struggle is real i was trying to hit that but it is what it is that person had no idea they were playing fortnite holy i want to go check this area in between us and this gas station because there's like almost always people that have their plants over there and if there's like some decent rarity plants we can maybe get shockwaves that way i think it's like blue or better plants now can give shockwaves and there's usually free kills to be had here but i haven't really heard any shots or anything so i don't really think anybody landed here And some plants, but it's not lootable for me. No, my pump didn't shoot. Break you, Megaman. I'm out here trying to make the lobby a better place by griefing that battle bus. 
And then he's got to shoot me. Shoot this off a few times, see if we can mark anybody in this area before we move on. I feel like there's almost always rats chilling over here. There is a red icon over there, but it's a triangle, and the triangles are either NPCs or animals. The diamonds are the players. Oh, I don't see any players. We'll just get out of here. Probably want to go... Oh, rip. It's not in zone. I said I want to go... I was going to say I want to go center and get flashes. Maybe we could still make it there in time. This guy's going to distract me. Even if we don't, there's these coolers outside uh, Coney that we can hit. I don't even feel like getting his loot. I'm trying to be on my way. This lobby is pretty dead already, too. I feel like 36 people up. By the time this zone closes, we'll probably be like in the 20s. We will see. Oh, Shockwave's bet. Also, the Darth Vader area outside Coney, which... Those chests... What is my thing attacking, bro? He, like, sees a ghost? Those chests can give splashes and Shockwaves and the E11 blaster, I think. I think that's the entirety of their loot pool. Which, you know, no one wants the E11, but Shockwaves and splashes are nice. Especially right now, I only have two. This man's driving in the water. Wolf, where are you going? Why is it running from me? Why is my own animal ever run from me in this video game, bro? I do not understand it. It happens so much, though. Like, it won't let me get on it either. Oh my gosh. What a struggle for no reason. That shouldn't be possible. It's like what they do though. My animals just straight run from me the entire time, I feel like. There's floppers for you, bro. Get your stamina back up. Don't see anybody coming in from zone. He didn't get very much stamina from that those fish. Nice, this area hasn't been looted. These are the chests I was talking about. You can get splashes and shockwaves from them. I would swap this animal for another one if we end up finding a different animal in this forest. He would have to eat so much food for his stamina to like no longer be a problem. Like, even if we find a few fish, then his stamina will still be a problem. Somebody just rifted from over here. Someone just died to Darth Vader, RIP. Go fighting in Coney. We can maybe third party this, and then it's also possible that the rifter, if they're still in the sky, could see this and land on it as well. I don't think this is the rifter. They would have had to have landed hecka quick. This is a waste of a shockwave, but there's also people fighting on the right, and I want to go third party that, so I want to kill this guy quick, but it seems like he's just going to be playing to waste as much of my time as possible, because that's like typically the way Fortnite players play the game. Always the way it goes. So many Fortnite players just get on the game to run from you like that. But yeah, if I was able to kill that guy quickly and, cl and cleanly, we could have went over there and fought whoever was fighting over there. But I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. And my animal is so low on stamina, I think I'm just going to take this car. This isn't the most efficient use of fuel, but I, I just want to get it to Sanctuary. Driving the cars off-road is not 
Doesn't work well. Nice. But yeah, if you just full boost while going off road, you can you can still kind of get somewhere somewhat quick, even off road. But you run out of fuel hella quick. But this is this is about where I wanted to get, anyways. So it's not the biggest deal to me. Just destroy that boulder. That way, it couldn't be used against me later on. Just it's unfortunate because that's like the only amount of cover I really had here. But. It is what it is. Somebody coming from there. I don't know what he's doing though, because he's going to the right, so he might end up coming like all the way around that way, which would be unfortunate. Like ideally for me, I would like to just kill him and go about my day, but once again, Fortnite players tend to just try their absolute hardest to make everything take as long as possible for some reason. This will help us out. Multiple. Maybe we have this rock roll on him, I don't know. We'll see, the rocks are really, like, not reliable. But there was another person over there. According to the firework gun. Unless I'm crazy. Nope, there they are. Just like I said <laughs> many times and so far in this video. They just try to make it take as long as possible for whatever reason. This guy's in a car. What is this zone? This is messy. I feel like zones like this, you have like two choices. You could try to either go to the messy ass like location, like what the worst possible outcome would be. Or you could just play mainland and hope to get lucky. Because like if it goes on one of these islands and you're already on the island, you have a pretty big advantage. But if it doesn't go to the island, you're at somewhat of a disadvantage, but not as much of a disadvantage as you would be if you're mainland and it goes island, if that makes any sense. We're both weak, but I've hit him way more than he sent me, so I'm just gonna go for this. There is somebody else grappling onto it, though. They're actually grappling to the rock statue. I would like to jump up here. I guess I cannot. So I think if we were up here, we could maybe see up that ledge. Nah. I don't know what he's doing. He could be, like, chilling just over the crest of the hill where I can't see him. He also may have just, like, kept going forward and dropped down the other side of this. Using a keg. Nice, this thing's gonna be on cooldown now. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the other guy went. I'm just gonna use these and then carry minis. That's unfortunate. We had that other guy in a pretty bad spot, but I don't know where he went anymore. Oh, gosh. Seems like at the start of the season, the spawn rate on these was really low. But I think they're guaranteed now because we saw both the one outside Greasy and this one. Like, early on, it seemed like only one was spawning a game or something like that. This may have been the person that I had underneath me not too long ago. I, I can't... Yeah, I think it is. I think it was. 
that I had cracked before the truck pulled up. Yeah, and they have a grappler too. So I think that was. There was a similar looking skin. I didn't get the best look at his skin when he was that far away. It looks similar. We have three opponents remaining. And we ended up getting zone, which is lucky. But even if we didn't get zone, like I probably could just leave here. We have been in a pretty bad spot for a while just chilling up there. This guy's in the battle bus. There's also a flare gun near me that we can use once I kill this person. Thanks for the crown, sir. Look at that. Griefing the battle bus just made my life so much easier. If I didn't grief the battle bus tires there, then we would have had to deal with that. Look at this bozo. Normally I would never use the battle bus, but you know. If it's to grief a bush camper, then so be it. It's worth. No, it's a 1v1. Don't know where this last guy is. Maybe we could shoot it back this way. Imagine he's in one of these bushes right next to me. I don't think he is. He probably would have done something by now, but you never know with Fortnite players. They play weird. Sometimes you'll have people hiding in bushes next to you for so long. Like this guy probably had opportunities to shoot at me, but he was just like full intent on hiding for some reason. Like he probably could have just fried me there when I had cracked the person in the battle bus or maybe even like right after I killed him and got the crown, but I don't know. I was addicted to hiding and that's like one of the huge advantages of the firework gun I feel like is the person marked doesn't get an indication that they're marked. So he had no idea that I knew exactly where he was, even though I knew exactly where he was, which is like a pretty big advantage when you think about it. Like in the past when they've had weapons like this, it would always tell people that they're pinged. But not this one. I'm starting to think he's over by that skate park just based on like how we haven't seen him anywhere else yet. Yeah, he's right there. He's by the porta potty. I don't know if that porta potty acts as a teleporter or not. Nice 120. I was actually just looking to shoot his cover out initially with that, but he decided to just stand there and take the bullet. No, there's pretty much nothing he can do. GG's. But yeah, I was I thought he was just gonna keep like staying behind that fence, so I was gonna shoot the fence out with the sniper, but he stayed peeking, so we just went for a shot on him. GG's!